So after the disaster that was my last video that got massively disliked and got a whole bunch of comments hating on me, even though I had already explained in basically the beginning of the fucking video that I wasn't completely informed on the topic to speak at hand and I just wanted to give my opinion on some of the shit that Asmongold was saying, regardless of that, I really wanted to talk about something that was a little bit more lighthearted and I didn't have to take it seriously and didn't have anything to do with politics. So that's what I'm doing today and you can tell that I'm at least a little bit upset but that's just because a lot of things were happening around the same time like my Twitter getting suspended, I got an injury that happened like, like the day before when I made the video. And then, of course, like, the comments just weren't really helping in any way whatsoever. It was just, it was bringing down my mood a lot, but I'm over it. I already, like, left a pin on the video. It's whatever. But here I am talking about the recent drama that happened with Jax Films and the VTuber community. And basically what happened is that Jax Films made a video critiquing one of the reaction videos that was made on Fillion's YouTube channel. And to be honest, I agree with some of the stuff that he had to say, like in regards to the community tab that she has on her channel. Obviously, I don't think it's her specifically that's the one that's posting these memes on her community tab. It's probably someone else, whether it be someone in her management or probably, again, just probably someone in her management. They go online onto like Reddit or like Twitter or anywhere that you can go and find memes and download them. And they basically just go and they download memes, they upload it on the community tab. And the whole point of it is to get sent into the algorithm, go get into people's home pages so they can see it, they interact with it, they like it, they they put her more into the algorithm. And eventually like someone will probably click onto her video or click on to her channel and then go and click on her videos and then go and watch her videos and then potentially go subscribe to the channel and then go watch her Twitch streams. And the whole point of it is to go and get sent into the algorithm in some shape or fashion to be able to get people to know who she is and then want to interact with her in some way. And through that, it gets her pushed further into the algorithm and she ends up becoming much more popular. And it works, right? And I totally understand why she does that. She's taking people's memes, but whatever the whole point of memes is that they're supposed to be shared in the first place. That's that's the whole point of it. But Jack Stones also mentioned something else that I actually really agreed with, and it was just the fact that the video that he was reacting to was a video where she was reacting to clips whilst also eating pickles. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I don't think that really added anything to the stream at all. I don't think it really added anything to the video. It's just her eating pickles whilst reacting to clips, whilst also kind of not reacting to clips. She doesn't really add anything to the videos that she's watching. She doesn't really react anything that's going on within the videos that she's watching. She doesn't really say anything about them in any way whatsoever. It's just kind of meh, right? Like, like nothing is really going on within the video besides her just eating pickles every now and then when, when she laughs or whatever. And then that's kind of it. And I don't think anything that Jackson had to say about Fillion's content and specifically the reaction video that he was watching, because a lot of other videos that Fillion uploads onto either YouTube shorts or on another YouTube page, I think is a lot better, right? I think Fillion uploads a lot other better content when she's actually actively interacting with her chat and being a lot more physically active because she's not like other typical VTubers. I think she kind of has like this whole like VR chat thing where she wears like a whole like rig on her body and whatever she moves her character also moves and i think those videos are a lot more interesting and i think her other videos are just significant significantly more interesting than her reaction content and i don't think that's a bad thing to say about her videos i don't think anything that jackson had to say about Fillion's content was necessarily bad and it's not wrong of him to want to critique some of her content and can critique the video that she had made. I don't think that's wrong in any way whatsoever. I also don't think that it's wrong for him to ask that people credit the people that they're watching, whether or not it be through directly linking the videos in the description or what I would even suggest if you don't want to do that, just create a Google document form that has all the links to all the videos right there in the Google doc and it takes you directly towards where those memes originated from, whether or not it be they were on Reddit or they were on YouTube or whatever, right? Just linking to the original videos in some shape or form is something that you should do because what if people want to go and watch their original video for themselves because they also find it funny and they want to share that original video with their friends, but they can't find it because they don't have a means to be able to do so. You know, I, I totally understand why Jack Stones mentions it. I don't think it's unfair of him to mention this as a point of critique, but this angered a lot of people in the VTuber scene along with another VTuber called uh, Pipkin Pippa, and she compared him to 
Keemstar for some reason, but called him creepier. And I just thought that that was an insane take to have about Jack Stones, considering that he's been around for an insanely long time and is a very beloved creator. But also because of the fact that Keemstar has done way worse things than Jack Stones has. Just speaking of that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and also mention this because it needs to be mentioned. I'm also not going to pretend like Jack Stones doesn't have some form of hypocrisy going on because a few years ago there was a sponsorship going around with a lot of youtube creators called better help and it was exposed to eventually end up being a scam they were taking people's information they were sending it to other websites they were leaking information that they shouldn't have been uh they weren't actually giving people the proper therapist that they needed in order to be able to help with the problems it just wasn't a good site whatsoever it was horrible it was a terrible experience for a lot of people and a lot of people fell for it because their favorite creators were being sponsored by BetterHelp. Jack Stones was one of those creators that was initially sponsored by BetterHelp a few years ago. He stopped being sponsored by BetterHelp after he realized that they were a terrible company that were making billions of dollars off of people's misery. But then in recent years, he started to get back into being sponsored by BetterHelp again. And yeah, like I'm not going to pretend like that isn't a bad thing. I'm not going to pretend like there isn't some form of hypocrisy going on. I, th I do agree that it's messed up that Jack Stones is being sponsored by BetterHelp, which is already known for being a shitty company that's scamming a lot of people out of their money and not really helping them when they really need it. Because there are a lot of people that have a lot of severe mental issues that do need help in some shape or form. And one of the best ways to do it is probably through the internet. But BetterHelp is not one of the ways to be able to do it. And I do think it's wrong of him to be sponsored by BetterHelp whilst also critiquing other people's content. But I don't think that his critiques should be completely undermined and completely ignored just because of that. Just because he does, just because he has this one thing looming over his head, which is the sponsorship for BetterHelp. I don't think we should just immediately eliminate his criticisms of Philian's content and other VTubers content and other reaction channels content. I just think that it's also strange that Pippa for some reason decided to compare him to Keemstar when Keemstar is a much more worse individual and has done way worse shit before in the past. A lot of people had something to say about this. If you go on the internet versus YouTube channel, he compiled a lot of tweets and read a lot of tweets talking about this. And yeah, I, I think a lot of the things that what Jack Stones had to say on his Jujo Jack Stones channel and on the video that he uh, made specifically about Fillion, I think a lot of the things that he had to say was very fair. But I think it's also fair to criticize Jack Stones for being sponsored by BetterHelp, which is a known scam sponsorship. So regardless, that's really all I have to say about the entire situation. I, I, I think that people who make reaction content can do a lot better in terms of their reaction content. I think they can engage with the videos that they're watching a lot more. I think the videos themselves that they make can be a lot more engaging besides just eating fucking pickles. But it's really neither here nor there. I just thought that this was a very strange drama that happened over the past like day or so it was really like the same day when it happened when people were making tweets about jack Stones. i don't know if jack Stones is going to end up making a video talking about it i don't know if something is going to happen in the future if someone's going to say something whether it be fillion or jack Stones. it doesn't really matter i just really wanted to say something about this just because i thought it was very strange when it happened and yeah i just wanted to really get my mind off of the last video that i fucking made uh last week so yeah that's honestly kind of it so yeah, that's what I have to say about the situation. It was kind of kind of lame, kind of dumb, but I can I can see both sides of the argument. I can I can understand a lot of people's perspectives, and I think that's really the thing that I want to get across is that I don't think anyone specifically is in the wrong in the situation, but of course, not everyone is in the complete right. So regardless, that's kind of it for me. I don't really have much else to say. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to go ahead and thank the uh, channel memberships. Uh, so far, it's only Pedro360. He recently resubbed to the channel memberships. I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.